simplifying fractions. To simplify a fraction, we need to find the highest common factor, or HCF in short, of both the numerator and the denominator. Factors again are those numbers that fit into a number exactly. When I, for example, divide 2 by 1 and by 2, there are no remainders. Let's quickly find the factors of 8 as well. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Both 8 and 2 share the factors 1 and 2. But when we simplify fractions, we are looking for the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of 2 and 8 would be 2. We now return to our fraction. We divide both the numerator and the denominator with the highest common factor. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now our fraction 2 over 8 is simplified to 1 over 4. Let's do one more in-depth example. Simplify 14 over 28. Again, please first stop, do all of this yourself, and then press play to evaluate your working out. We start by listing the factors of 14. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors now of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. 14 and 28 have the following common factors. 1, 2, 7, and 14. But again, we are looking for the highest common factor. And the highest common factor between 14 and 28 is 14. Therefore, we go to our fraction now and we divide the numerator with 14 and we divide the denominator with 14. 14 divided by 14 is 1 and 28 divided by 14 is 2. The simplified version of 14 over 28 is now equal to a half. To simplify mixed fractions, we need to convert mixed fractions into improper fractions. For more examples and knowledge on converting mixed fractions to improper fractions, be sure to watch the first video in the Common Fraction playlist. Link is in the description box below. When simplifying a mixed fraction, there is one of two ways we can do this. We can first start by changing this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. 2 times 25 is 50. 50 plus 5 is 55 over the unchanged denominator, which is 25. After this, when the mixed fraction is now turned into an improper fraction, we simplify like we have just learned by first finding the highest common factor for both 55 and 25. The highest common factor for the numerator and the denominator here is 5. When we divide both the numerator and the denominator with 5, we are left with the fraction simplified as 11 over 5. Alternatively, we can do the following. By first simplifying the fractional part of this mixed fraction and thereafter turning that into an improper fraction. So let's start. We first find the highest common factor again of 5 and of 25, which is 5 as well. We then say 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 25 divided by 5 is 5. From here, when our mixed fractions fractional part is simplified, 
we then turn this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. Our simplified fraction then would be 11 over 5. You choose which way works the easiest and the best for you and then use this going forward. Remember grade 8, the more we practice, the luckier we get in mathematics. We're going to end off this video with two more examples, one of a common fraction and one of a mixed fraction. Make sure to stop the video, do it yourself and then see how you have mastered simplification of fractions today. To simplify 18 over 30, we start off by finding the highest common factor. The highest common factor of both 18 and 30 is 6. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 and 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. To simplify 2 and 49 over 56, I am first going to simplify the fractional part and then convert that mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So here we go. The highest common factor of 49 and of 56 is 7. So we say 49 divided by 7 and 56 divided by 7. This leaves us with 2 and 7 over 8. From here, we turn this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. Therefore, our simplified fraction is now 23 over 8.